Those new to traditional shaving can often take up to 45 minutes for a complete multi-pass shave. But after a little practice, it's quite possible to have a great shave in about 10 minutes. I rubbed a cotton pad across my face to prove that I have stubble. I've just had a shower, so my face has been sufficiently prepared. If I don't shower, I'll take an extra minute or so to wash my face with a little of the shave cream or soap I'm about to use. Doctors have told me that it can take up to three minutes to completely prepare the face for a shave, but luckily I've discovered I can get by with a little less. I can save a little more time by combining face prep and face lathering with a shave brush. A shave brush is a great multitasking tool. It can hydrate the skin and hair, lubricating the skin and easing the hair out of its shaft a bit to make it easier to cut. It can gently get rid of all the little microscopic bits of debris from around the hair to clear the way for the cut, and it can get the hair to rise off the skin for an easier shave. Notice the gentle circular massaging motion of the brushwork. Don't press the brush all the way down onto the face. Use just enough pressure to make the bristles spread out a bit to release all that lathery goodness onto the face. This initial lathering may be the most important part of the shave, so cutting corners or trying to save time here will probably be counterproductive. After working the lather onto the face, finish up with a painting motion to even out the thickness. By the way, I'm using inexpensive products for today's shave. The shave soap is widely available in the U.S. for under $2. The brush is a basic pure badger brush. The razor is a Chinese clone of an old Gillette razor. And the blade cost me all of 17 cents. The 10 minute traditional wet shave may require some compromises, but this part of the process shouldn't be one of them. Short strokes with just enough pressure on the razor to hold the blade to the face and careful attention to blade angle is a requirement here. And notice the efficiency of cutting. Very little overlap between strokes and no repeating strokes over the same spot. Also notice that I divide my face into small areas that follow the flattest facets like a diamond, presenting a clean blade at the beginning of each facet and trying not to shave on rounded contours whenever possible. I always shave straight down for this first part of the shave, even though the grain of my stubble doesn't necessarily go that way. I found that going straight down is the easiest way to maintain a good razor angle, and as long as I've made a proper lather, I won't have any problems. If I were shaving with a multi-blade cartridge, I would definitely shave with the grain, though. Pay special attention to highly contoured areas like around the nose. Although it may look like I'm shaving over the same area again and again, I'm actually changing the position of the razor just a bit to cover the curved areas. And don't be afraid of moving things out of the way when necessary. Now a quick splash of water to rinse and inspect. If the shave is good enough at this point, stop now, apply your aftershave, and move along. I want a closer shave, so I'm going to re-lather for another pass. If my beard was particularly thick, say from not shaving for a few days, I might repeat that first pass. But daily shaving will keep the stubble down to a manageable level, so I'm going to shave upward, again making sure my blade angle is about 30 degrees to my face, and shaving with just enough pressure to hold the blade of the razor along the facets of my face. Notice that I keep my wrist locked and move the razor with my entire arm. Doing this assists with maintaining a good blade angle. By the way, even though I've edited this video to make it more visually interesting, I did really shave in 10 minutes. This particular camera angle was shot in real time. Some of you may be thinking that I'm shaving insanely fast, and in a way it's true. I usually take a much more leisurely shave. But after some practice, I'm now able to speed up safely when time is short. My mustache area is particularly sensitive, so rather than shaving straight up here, I shave from the outer edges inward.
another quick rinse to keep my face wet, and I decide I've got the time for a final against grain pass for that smooth as a baby's butt feeling. After I give my face a relatively thin coat, I squeeze the brush slightly to bring up some of the incredibly rich lather that's buried inside the brush and apply it by hand for a little extra protection. Cat joins me for a last quick rinse and check to see if I've missed something. Whoops, I still have a couple rough spots, so I bring up more of that rich lathery goodness from my brush and apply it to those areas. Depending on the rough area, I use either a hooking action or a buffing action to smooth off those little areas I missed. Now a thorough hot water rinse to wash off any remaining lather residue. Using clean hot water for this is the best way to go, but if you're under conservation restrictions, just use the water left in the wash basin. Hey, that's a great shave. And I made it in about 10 minutes. I like to take a cotton pad soaked in witch hazel and gently wipe my face. Witch hazel is kind of the original aftershave and can be very effective in combating ingrown hairs and acne. A final splash of cool water to finish closing off the pores, then a dab of aftershave balm massaged into my wet face with wet hands to soothe and protect. Don't forget to police up the area when you're finished. And here's the proof, no fibers caught in the stubble after rubbing with a dry cotton pad. Check us out on the web.